I want to start with the most exciting thing because I just read about it yesterday, which is like the whole king of the hill. Uh, I don't want to pressure you or anything, but I just have a, one question, which is um, I read a while ago that you guys were um, thinking about bringing it back, but it would take place like a few years after the original series where the characters might be a little more or a little older. Is that still the case? Um, well, you know, here's the weird thing about that. <clears throat> the way that article ran is, is, uh, there isn't any change yet. We don't have a deal to do it. Um, I'm not exactly sure if we phrased it wrong, maybe. Um, sure. <laughs> but <laughs> it's still not 100%. So, but um, the idea is, is uh, currently the idea is um, a time jump. Yeah. So it is uh, the, uh, the, the characters are a bit older. Yeah. But again, like it's not 100%. So. Is it, is it one of these things where you guys want to do it and you guys have to sort of work out the contracts with like Fox and everybody? Well, we haven't worked out the contracts yet. Um, and, uh, you know, we we had the idea floating around that we pitched a while ago. Um, and, you know, I think we we need to figure out how we would do it well and, um, you know, and who would do it with us because we're both pretty, you know, busy. <laughs> Yeah. Also, there's something else with the ability now to maybe do shorter seasons, you know, maybe doing like six episodes or 10 episodes instead of 20 something might be more appealing in this day and age. Well, I'll tell you the truth about that is <clears throat> uh, it depends on who you are. Like if you're a writer on a staff, um, you know, you are paid on a weekly basis and there's some downsides to um, working the short seasons because it's hard to kind of go up the ladder, you know, like the old the old time. But um, you know, if you're if you're a showrunner uh, or you consider that you're responsible for the outcome, um, you know, it takes forever and you don't have any help because the writers are all they all disperse, you know, once the writing's done. And you know, in the old days when it was a 22 episode, 25 episode season, everybody worked there continuously, you know, and they got a little break in the summer, but everything was on top of each other. So you had a lot of people to delegate to. So you could be like, all right, you go to the mix. I'll stay in the room for next week. You go down to the set and see what's happening, you know, but with the short orders, your writers are gone. And all of the stuff about the set and post, and there's nobody to help really. <clears throat> so, so the great thing about this season of Space Force for me was I had my old friend Norm Hiscock join me on the showrunner level, so he was there the whole time. So I had somebody to to talk to in all the you know the mix and the music spotting and the shooting and everything like that. But you know when you don't when you don't have somebody there at that level, then they just disperse. So it's actually kind of hard to have these short orders in one sense, you know, you don't, you're doing everything yourself or whoever the showrunner is. I actually never thought of it like that. Um, I just have to ask you also, uh, being friends with Mike, have you pitched him on your Beavis and Butthead idea? And are you trying to write an episode? I haven't, I love Beavis and Butthead as a fan. Um, you know, but I, uh, that's his thing. I'm not, I'm not gonna jump in there.